Hi everyone, this this episode shall be called A Moment of Exchange. Just called A Moment of Exchange. And it's going to be one of the deepest topics I've talked about because it's going to move to angles of human experience probably not covered before, but observed. In other words, A Moment of Exchange is my suggestion of how there are experiences being had and shifted among human beings because if me and you agree to what am I what I'm saying it's as if we're having a moment of exchange I am communicating something and you are receiving it <clears throat> it is as if a word has been spoken therefore moments of exchange can work with through different degrees in other words your moment can be exchanged by the value of an act you can do. You can do certain acts that just alter your state of consciousness, but they are based on the purity and the honesty you have with yourself. How honest you are with your own calibration and where you are in this life suggests how well the universe looks at you. And it all depends on how well you look at it. You look at a beautiful, abundant universe. Literally, you will become the luckiest man alive because you don't need the word luck. There's just that abundance in your life. <clears throat> you see, because I am speaking about ideas, <clears throat> all that my ideas can do is either become opinions or considerations or new viewpoints for you or... <clears throat> They can promote you to be active in ways you have not been before, both mentally and physically. In other words, begin being honest with your environment, kind and mindful. It's it's amazing. The, um, when you look look at a Zen monastery, and you know this was one of the first teachings of a Zen master to a student. And I've never been in front of a Zen master, you know, but I could totally understand how they feel because. <clears throat> Um, there's a, uh, there's a talk on mindfulness as if before you go to the monastery, you shouldn't close the door too hard. You should be aware. You should be sensitive. You should understand what you're stepping on. Even if it's a snail, you should be aware of how life is and the moment of your existence and being in your presence. You see, if you're caught in the past, you become careless in your, in your valuation of the present. And that's terrible. In other words, and similar with the future. In other words, if you're too distracted by all other times and other moments um, in your present you will not receive its its full value <clears throat> therefore you need to be mindful and aware and present you need to close the doors gently you need to be aware and appreciative how much do you like literally the moment you're in right now how comfortable are you who's deciding your level of comfort and you realize you choose how you're going to go through an experience and that is what honor is Honor is knowing that you have a choice to make things right and you it can act and be instantly true. <clears throat> you are your greatest dream and don't leave it there. Don't just dream of being like a just a slightly better phase of yourself. Do you know what I mean? Dream till the end, the infinity. Search that infinity of existence which is which is us. Look through those eyes. And once you do, everything begins making sense. You, all your other questions begin pouring into this funnel of knowing, which was always the answer that is here within the moment. <clears throat> Therefore, our sensitivity to our life process suggests um, our future if we're insensitive now if we're harsh if we want a world where we have fear around every corner <clears throat> there's that kind of a choice which is meaningless however there are other times where there are choices that could be made that could serve the other you know it's like there's nobody on earth has the time to think of being a villain because we understand how closely we want to look at the stars and how far we want to reach. You see, <clears throat> the reason purpose is important right now is because we need to hold the steering wheel. It's as if um, the person driving the car has lost the steering wheel. That means that we feel uh, our governments or those that who govern us <clears throat> laws are opinions and who, whoever came up with those opinions feels probably like the ruler 
if you're comfortable with your measurement system, you don't want to change it so others can bring their own. You mod yours. And some men, based on their insecurities, recreate havoc for generations to come because they're desperately out of place and it is self-induced. The minds of men cannot maintain power because it should be selfless and ma a selfless man was never there. To see through the depth that I suggest, just follow your breath. This is a meditative practice. To see where this breath is, where it goes from. To, you know, forget all the scientific uh, 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 empirical info you have on what breathing is and just just feel it out. Just have no ideas, Has don't mind emotions, don't mind anything and just be. You can see that you can always see through your eyes. You can always be aware more than your physical form. You can look through the sun. You can feel that that sense of existential connectivity that brings forth a future that never had to doubt its presence. Be knowing in the sense that your actions are done with your greatest knowing. It's as if every day the decisions you make, that is the voice of life. Everything else is communicating through your action. Choose your action wisely and experience it fully. And when I say act, I'm not talking about mass. I'm talking about how the light gives you a voice to communicate a life. Follow that. Be appreciative and always be respectful of your environment. In other words, literally every moment you go outside your door and you see the outside world, just be appreciative of what's going to happen. Just send out a blessing. Send out some very good and honest and pure blessings. It's as if, see, once you get really honest, it's beautiful because <clears throat> there's something called devotion and it's, it's devotion of self. It's like once you see how infinite you are, in regards to your ability of experience through awareness, you become <clears throat> the calm in the storm. A sense of calmness arises where um, you are not bothered by any interpretation, any opinion, any condition, because there's no need to be have your attention on being bothered. It's as if once you have the knowing of the martial arts master, um, you can you can fight the any student or anyone with one hand. Do you know what I mean? It's like you receive you reach that sense of sensitivity where you're able in that way. You see. And man's ability is expanding to a degree where his consciousness, his mind can receive insight from other fabrics of existence. You see, I have my own theories and sometimes theories just come to me, ideas of how our existence is, you know. And when I heard string theory, I went to a Starbucks and I sat down and I just received these insightful ideas on what I perceive to be my own adaption called cloth theory in that there are different fields multi-layered in this complexity which is inconceivable but at the same time geometrically receptible so our energy sources must be geometrically conscious of these portals of existential being that become the origin and the centered design of all that is <clears throat> it's a complexity understood through mind that we must become comfortable with thoughts. In other words, we must have freedom of uh, thought, freedom of form, freedom to act, freedom to be, and at the same time, freedom to think of any thought. Because if they limit your thoughts, you will always feel there's something missing. If they don't let you open your door, you will feel as if they have no sense of doing so. However, even if they do, you are growing. You are going through this life. The journey started. The roller coaster is moving. You know? So you take how you experience things. However, your sensitivity also suggests how much life experiences you. <clears throat> you see? 
our eyes are deep. In other words, they're not limited to the forms we know. At the same time, they are limitless in the forms they can be based on our past and sense of ancient ancestral flows, you know? You know, ancestral flows are very interesting because they show the creativity of the hand that designed a human being. It's as if similar to how unique the design of a flower is, a human being's potential to tune into the sounds of the uh, sounds of existence is also different. It's very savage, but at the same time free, and therefore a wild sense of existence appears where your <coughs> mazes break and you become found you know it's it's crazy but it's it's a sense of knowing that is here and guys you always can have this in other words outside any condition or feeling of loss there is the abundance that is present you know it's how you talk to yourself that suggests the idea you will have of your success and you know of yourself Communicate well to yourself. When you say words, say words in the pure... No, I, I don't want to say pure, but I want to say with complete intention. In other words, embrace the word and just you'll receive an experience from it. For example, if you say... <sighs> beyond, really show the depth of what that word means for you. A similar with above as well it is a powerful statement but not a written one and therefore we can see it in the saints eyes you know and also the sinners <clears throat> it is that dream of existential presence where we understand that excitement is our new playground you know, judge your life by how excited you are in this playground, which is the moment that is your experience, you know. Listen, we are embracing higher mental technologies. In other words, we are experiencing ourselves through deeper and deeper and greater ideas. It's as if the idea sense of the human being is also beginning its own evolution. And so conceptually, our minds can connect by all of us conceiving the presence of a greater body that is here. This is where collective consciousness begins. And I don't really want to say this is far in the future. I don't know actually how, how far this kind of insight is in our future. But I know that there, a time will come where my world would have prepared us for the future. Do you know what I mean? In other words, I don't care how... <clears throat> important uh, or how, how many people watch these videos but just the fact that they're here if we reach problems where, where we're downing our consciousness someone is explaining it and hopefully my words could be as natural as how the wind blows